time in that I'm going to show you how to use the Phantom G's studio mode, but in a different way. And in this way, what we're going to do is we're actually going to take and use the studio mode almost like the Phantom G's live mode. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer multiple parts in studio mode and record those to a track. And this is a really cool feature because that means you can take and layer sounds on top of each other to get a really, really big sound. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over to the second page of the internal mixer and I'm going to go here where it says keyboard switch and I'm going to layer basically six different sounds together. We're going to start off with this, then we're going to have this sound, followed by the third, fourth, a fifth one, all right? And I'm going to layer some drums underneath it also. So let's flip over to our song recorder and we'll go to track number one and let's sequence that. Okay, and we'll confirm that. And now let's lay down some drums. So we'll flip, flip back to our studio mode. And then the next thing we'll do is let's turn off those assignments. So we turn off each of the keyboard switches and we'll go here to this part and we'll lay down these drums. Okay, let's flip back to our song recorder and we'll lay down some basic drums. Here we go. Okay, so now we've got our string hits on track one, drums on track two, and then to top it off, let's add, I'll add a harpsichord sound. Sounds like this. And let's add that to track number three next. So now our finished track sounds like this.